Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 9 students. Sa video na ito ay tutulungan ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 3, letter B ng inyong mga module. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung learning task number 1 at number 2, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinapalitan ko yung mga ibang given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung mga nasa modules ninyo. Kasi mas magandang matuto kapag kayo ang mismong nagsusolve. Alright? Dapat kabisado niya na yung loss of rational exponents. Meron akong separate na video tungkol dito. Kung gusto niyo panoorin, hanapin niyo na lang sa playlist natin. Okay, number one tayo. We have the quantity of x raised to 1 half, y raised to 2 third, all over x raised to 2 fifth, y raised to 3 fourth, raised to the power of 6. So, ang gagamitin natin dito ay power of a quotient. Ibig sabihin, yung 6, multiply natin sa mga powers or exponent ng nasa loob. So, that would be x. Then, 1 half times 6, that would be equal to 6 over 2, ba? Then, y. 2 times 6 equals 12 over 3. Over, ito naman, x raised to... 2 times 6 equals 12 over 5. And then y, 3 times 6 equals 18 over 4. Okay. Next, simplify natin. So, magiging x raised to 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Then y, 12 divided by 3 equals 4 over x, 12 divided by 5, hindi natin maisisimplify yan, so 12 over 5 pa rin. And then, ito naman, y, ano ang simplest form nito? I-divide natin by 2. 18 divided by 2 equals 9 over 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Ang next na gagawin natin dito, kapag nag-divide tayo ng parehong base, isusubtract lang natin yung mga exponent. So, magiging x raised to 3 minus 12 over 5. Then, yung y naman, that is 4 minus 9 over 2 naman. Then, i-separate natin yung solution nito. 3 minus 12 over 5. Para masubtract natin yan, dagdagan natin ng 1 itong 3 sa denominator niya kasi pwede naman siyang i-express as 3 over 1, di ba? Then, get the LCD. Ano ang LCD ng 1 at saka 5? That is 5. So, 5 divided by 1 equals 5 times 3 equals 15. Minus 5 divided by 5 equals 1 times 12 equals 12. Then, 15 minus 12 equals 3 over 5. So, ito. So, magiging x raised to 3 over 5. Yung y, then, yung exponent naman ng y, that is 4 minus 9 over 2. So, kagaya lang din dito, dagdagan natin ng 1 sa denominator niya. And, ano ang LCD ng 1 at saka 2? That is 2, ba? Then, 2 divided by 1 equals 2, times 4 equals 8, minus 2 divided by 2 equals 1, times 9 equals 9. 8 minus 9 equals negative 1 over 2. Ibig sabihin, that would be equal to y raised to negative 1 half. So, ang gagawin natin dito ay simplify natin. Pag may negative na exponent, anong gagawin? Ibaba natin para maging positive siya. So, magiging y raised to positive 1 half na siya. And then, ito naman, kopyahin lang natin x raised to 3 over 5. Since yung exponent niya is rational exponent, gawin nating radical expression para maging simplest form siya. Paano ulit convert to sa radical expression? Yung denominator, yun yung maging index. And then, maglagay ng radical sign. Kopyahin yung base na x. Then, maglagay ng parenthesis. 
to the power of yung numerator na 3. Nasundan ninyo? Over, ito naman, that is square root of y na lang. So, ito na yung final answer. Fifth root of x raised to the power of 3 over square root of y. Kasi yung 2, kahit huwag nyo nang ilagay dito. At yung 1, kahit huwag nyo nang ilagay. So, square root of y yung y raised to 1 half. So, ito na yung final answer. Okay ba? Dito naman tayo sa number 2. So, meron tayong x raised to negative 3 over 4, y raised to 3 to the power of 1 third. So, ang basic rule lang natin dito, i-multiply lang natin yung mga exponent kasi power to power yan. Okay, so that would be x raised to negative 3 times 1. Kapag nagmumultiply ng fraction, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, negative 3 times 1 equals negative 3 over 4 times 3 equals 12. And then, dito naman, y. Pag whole number naman, yung numerator lang ang multiply natin, then copy the denominator. 3 times 1 equals 3 over 3. Nasundan ninyo? So, magiging x. Ano ang lowest term nito? I-divide natin by 3. So, negative 3 divided by 3 equals negative 1 over 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Then, kopyahin itong y. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Okay. Since meron tayong negative ulit dito, ibababa natin. Magiging positive yung kanyang exponent. Magiging positive 1 over 4. Then, kopyahin lang yung y sa numerator. Matitira siya dyan. Since meron tayong exponent na fraction, gawin nating radical expression. So, y over Yung denominator nito magiging index, ba? Then, maglagay ng radical sign, kopyahin ng base na x to the power of 1 or kahit wag nyo nang ilagay. So, ito na yung final answer. y over 4th root of x. Nasundan ninyo? Next, dito naman tayo sa number 3. We have 3 raised to 1 half, y raised to 1 over 6 to the power of 2. Sundan nyo lang yung ginagawa ko ha, para masagutan ninyo yung mga nasa module ninyo. Kailangan ninyong intindihin mabuti. So, ang gagawin natin dito, power to power, i-multiply natin. So, that would be 3 raised to 1 times 2 equals 2 over 2. Then, y, 1 times 2 equals 2 over 6. Then, simplify, we will have 3. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Then, y naman, 2 over 6 or 1 over 3. Kasi, 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So, yung 3 raised to 1, that would be equal to 3. Then, yung y raised to 1 third naman, gawin nating radical expression. Yung 3 magiging index. Then, maglagay ng radical sign. Kopyahin yung y to the power of 1 or kahit wag nyo nang ilagay. So, ito na yung fin final answer. 3 times cube root of y. Nasundan ninyo? Number 4 naman tayo. We have a raised to 12 over b raised to 4 raised to the power of 1 fourth. So, power to power ulit tayo. Multiply natin. 12 times 1 equals 12. Uh, kopyahin natin yung a. 12 over 4. Over B, 4 times 1 naman is 4 over 4. Then, simplify natin yung mga exponent. That is A, 12 divided by 4 equals 3, di ba? Over B, tapos 4 divided by 4 naman equals 1. Then, the final answer is A cube over B. So, this is now the final answer. Next, number 5 na tayo. We have 4m raised to 8, y raised to 12, all over 8p raised to 20, raised to the power of 1 fourth. So, ang gagawin natin dito kapag merong constant term, i-distribute natin yung exponent each term. So, magiging 4 raised to 1 fourth. Kasi wala namang parenthesis na ganyan. So, yung 1 fourth ay isang term lang yan. Kaya, kailangan natin i -raise to the power of 1 fourth. And then, ito naman, i-multiply natin. 8 times 1 equals 8, divided by 4 equals 2. 
Then, ito naman, y, 12 times 1 equals 12, divided by 4 equals 3. Nasundan ninyo? Over 8 raised to 1 fourth yan. Tapos, yung p naman, ang exponent niya, 20 times 1 equals 20, over 4, that is equal to positive 5. Nasundan ba ninyo? Tapos, mag-isip tayo ng rational expression na factor ni 4 at saka 8. So, pwede natin itong i-express as 2 raised to 2, ba? Para makancel natin mamaya yung nasa baba. Then, kopihin natin yung exponent na 1 fourth. Then, m raised to 2, y raised to 3. Over, ba ito, para magkapareho sila dito, i-multiply natin yung 2 raised to 2, that is 4 kasi, diba? Times 2 natin, para magkapareho sila. Raised to the power of 1 fourth. So, yung 8, ang katumbas nito is 2 raised to 2 times 2, or 4 times 2 equals 8. Then, kopyahin lang yung exponent. Then, p raised to 5. Nasundan ninyo? Ngayon, pwede na nating meron ulit tayong power to power, ba? So, magiging 2. Then, 2 times 1 equals 2 over 4. Kopyahin yung m squared y cubed. Over, ito naman, 2 raised to 2 times 1 equals 2 over 4 times 2 raised to 1 fourth. Then, kopihin yung P raised to 5. And then, simplify natin yung exponent. Yung 2 over 4, pag in sinimplify natin yan, i-divide natin by 2. That would be equal to 1 over 2. So, 1 half. Magiging 2 raised to 1 half. Then, m squared y cubed over, ito naman, 2 raised to 1 half then Then, 2 raised to 1 fourth, p raised to 5. So, sa tingin ninyo, anong pwedeng i-cancel dyan na magkapareho? Pwede na natin i-cancel to kasi magkapareho sila. So, ang matitira na lang ay m squared y cubed over, pwede natin i-express as radical expression. Yung 4 natin, yun yung magiging index. Then, maglagay ng radical sign. Kopyahin yung 2 to the power of 1 or huwag na natin ilagay yung 1 kasi understood na positive 1 na yung uh, exponent or yung power nito. Then, kopyahin lang yung p raised to 5. Okay na? Nasundan nyo na? Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung number 6 to 10 kasi masyado nang mahaba, I-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin, mga anak. Okay? Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!